Longmont. My name is Karen Stallard. I'm the membership director with the Longmont Area Chamber of Commerce. The Longmont Chamber has been working hard to support our local businesses and connect the community during this challenging time because we don't think that being physically distanced means that we can't still socially connect and support one another. So I'd like to tag in Jessica Wanasek, the Chamber Event Director, to tell you a little bit about what we've been up to. Hey everyone, so the Longmont Chamber of Commerce has been hosting daily Facebook Live events Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. over on our Chamber Facebook page. We are featuring a local business or a nonprofit while having fun interactive activities, giveaways, and just connecting with our community. We wanted to share the fun with you after the fact, so we are airing all of our episodes from last week with you here now so you can enjoy. And we hope that you see some familiar faces from around Longmont. And remember, if you ever want to see the live thing, just tune into the Chamber Facebook page at 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Or check out a themed list of businesses over on our Chamber website. www.longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. And find a business that you would like to support. Enjoy the show! Well, hello, everybody. Hello, hello for um, another edition of your Mindfulness Monday. We're just going to let the audience come in and build here for another second or two. So we are so happy to see you guys with us again today. Uh, we're on our, our second week of uh, our Longmont is Open for Business live events that we're doing every day. So we're, we're having a great time uh, and we're happy to have you guys here. So we're just gonna give another minute or two. I'm starting to see a few people popping in. Uh, if you are watching today, please let us know that you are here by commenting, saying hi. Um, if you have any questions for our um, guests while they're on, please put those in the comments as well and we'll try and get to all of them. Um, so as I said, we are in our second week of uh, Longmont is open for business, even though it's not business as usual, but um, there's some amazing businesses out there doing some pretty cool things. So we're, we're really happy to be bringing those to you. Um, my name is Jessica Wanasek. I am the event director over at the Longmont Chamber of Commerce. Um, and again, thanks for tuning in. Each day at 4 p.m., we are highlighting and featuring businesses and nonprofits uh, right here on our Chamber Facebook page at 4 p.m. Um, and just kind of sharing what, what businesses are doing and how they're running operations, um, sometimes you know modified, obviously, with uh, what's going on in the world today. So this is why we are doing this. Um, if you want to see the list of businesses that we are uh, working with here in Longmont, go to our Chamber uh, website, and you can reach that at www.longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open and it'll take you to um, we have businesses in themed lists that you guys can check out. So make sure you do that. Um, so as I said, today is mindfulness. I always forget the nest mindfulness Monday. And uh, I would like to invite our guests to join us here in just a second. Um, she has some amazing products that help with some self care and maybe even help reduce uh, some of the stress that we are you know, feeling today. So I would like to bring in um, a wonderful, wonderful woman. And this is Dr. Cindy Jones with Colorado Aromatics. Say hello, Cindy. Hi, Longmont. How's everybody doing? I know we, I'm a little stressed. <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. Yeah. And uh, well, Monday, you know, we're, we're excited to have you on today for our second ever Mindfulness Monday. And I'm feeling like some of us need need some de-stressing or to help kind of get some of our, our anxieties and, and stuff under control. Um, and besides that, you have some fun um, products and stuff that you're going to be introducing to us yeah. here shortly, right? Yes. Awesome. Well, um, I always like to start out with our businesses. Tell us a little bit about you. How long has uh, Colorado Aromatics been open for business? Well, you know, we kind of grew out of a hobby, so it's hard to say a specific date, but we started selling our products 12 years ago, I think, at the Longmont Farmer's Market, and we opened our store at 3rd and Lashley six years ago. So, so we've been at it for a little while, yeah. 
I know I didn't realize that you were over at the the farmers markets. So that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well, and this summer yeah. I don't know how that's going to look. So far, it's not looking good. So I, I know seeing customers there and seeing customers in my store. Yeah, I think we're all going through. I know you and I were talking a little bit about how we're kind of going through people withdrawal. I, yeah. I like my people. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I know you just touched on it real briefly, but where can you tell us the or tell the audience where you are located, where your store is located? Our store is at the corner of Third and Lashley. So we're on the east side of Longmont. So probably about five blocks east of Main Street. Okay, I know right third, Google No Third, that's a main street. So there's a complex of about three buildings on the corner here. Very good. Awesome. Um, okay, so I know in uh, the, the way the world looks right now, can you share a little bit of how you have adapted your um, running of your business, how you're running operations these days? Well, who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we try to we try to help customers and and do what they need. And one thing that we've been able to do is to we now produce a hand sanitizer. So that's been something very difficult for people to buy because people are hoarding it. So we've got a hand sanitizer on our website that's available for sale. But we've been focusing a lot more online since the you know face-to-face -face sales avenues are are diminishing. So yeah, you know, used to be, for instance, at Lucky's, which didn't have anything to do with COVID, but they went out of business. But other wholesale accounts are kind of doing not so well either. So we're really focusing on online. We um, actually, this past Saturday, we did a Facebook Live on our website and we wanna to try to do that more often so we can have some kind of better interaction with our customers too. Yeah, that would be good. Have, it's always good. To, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Have, besides, bit. we are packing and shipping packages from our online site, but we also allow customers to come for um, door pickup as well. Okay, so you're doing like a curbside, they order yeah. online, curbside pickup? Or they American. can call the store. They can call the store and say a time that they want to come pick up and then we can process their credit card and just leave it set outside for them. Okay, cool, cool. Um, tell us now, I was on your website kind of poking around. Um, can you talk a little bit about what is this uh, farm to face or farm to body aspect of your business? So besides our store and our um, production kitchen here at Third and Lashley, we also have a farm where we live north of Longmont. So we grow a lot of herbs there, about 30 different kind of herbs that we use in our products. And this is important because these herbs provide a lot of benefits for skin, primarily antioxidants that can help repair damage that you get from the sun and being outside, as we all love to do. Um, but I brought one of the main plants that we grow is lavender. So oh, I brought this beautiful love. lavender bundle here. <laughs> um, so this summer when we have, this is a dry bouquet from last summer. When we have fresh lavender this summer, I'm thinking, I don't know, we might sell it off the farm for pickup. Hmm. And then a lot of the herbs we will make uh, extracts from. <laughs> So this is a jar of calendula extract. So oh, we dry wow. the calendula, put it in a jar, and then extract it in olive oil. So you're getting a lot of the beneficial um, components of the calendula coming out in that oil. And then we'll strain and we'll use that oil in our products. So we use that in a lot of products. It really helps to um, stimulate epithelial cells. Um, our face care product, it helps to stimulate collagen production, which is something we all want. And then I thought I'd show this thing of hops too. This is hops that we grow on our farm that we're doing an oil extract up here too. So those are just oh. fun. And we also distill herbs um, to make these aromatic waters. So these are, this is a, like a aromatherapy paradise. This is lavender that we distill on the farm. And you basically spray it on your face. You take a nice deep breath. So besides toning and hydrating your skin, it kind of takes you away and helps you relax, de-stress. Just you now, feel so much better. This is where I wish we had like smell a vision. I was like, do me, right. do me, do my face. Yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine how yummy it smells. Even Karen, uh, we're getting a few comments. Um, Chris McGrath says, I bet that lavender smells amazing. 
And uh, Karen says, mm, I can smell it. So even though we don't have smell of vision, we're, we're all imagining it. So yeah, you can imagine, right? Well, yeah. perfect. So um, if you guys are all tuning in or if you're just coming in, uh, get comfortable. Dr. Cindy Jones is going to show us some fun products that she's got uh, straight from her farm. Make sure you're commenting because one lucky viewer's comments, we're going to have a little quiz towards the end of our live session today. And some some lucky winner is going to win a, a fabulous prize that Dr. Cindy has brought with her today. So tune in, let us know you're here, say hi. If you have questions for Dr. Cindy, um, also put those in the comments as well. And I'll try and get those um, to her while we are chatting here today. So I don't know, lately, I don't even know um, what day it is, let alone if there's a major holiday on the calendar right around the corner. And I know that there is one. So with that, Dr. Cindy, I am actually going to turn it over to you and you can maybe share a little bit about, um, I hear there's Mother's Day is right around the corner. So I'm gonna take it, you're gonna take it away and I'm gonna try and hit the right button here and go hey. for it. Okay, so yeah, believe it or not, Mother's Day is this Sunday. And because self-care is so important right now, I thought I'd talk about some of the gift sets that we have that mom might like for self-care. Um, the first of these is our foot spa. So the foot spa consists of a sugar scrub, an herbal foot soak, and a soul pleasure foot butter. So this herbal foot soak is great. You would put it in a tub of water, hot water, let it infuse in that hot water for a while and then soak your feet in there. The herbs that are in there are herbs that can help with stress and anxiety as well as help just help you relax and help improve mood as well as a little bit of disinfecting for the feet. <laughs> then the sugar scrub here, um, this is a nice sugar scrub and we'll see it again in our hand spa. But for this sugar scrub, you wanna put that on your hands or your feet can see that and just rub it in. What it's going to do is exfoliate. So you can rub it up your arms. And then um, I have a wet washcloth here, but you could just do this under the faucet too and just rinse that off. And you're eliminating all of those dead skin cells. So it helps the skin to glow. And it also helps skincare products to penetrate a little bit better. Hmm. Then after doing that, you would apply the foot butter. So this foot butter is um, a pretty firm butter. We use comfrey mint and calendula in here. So they're really good herbs to help with dry cracked heels, for instance. Put that on there. And it's got shea butter, cocoa butter. I think I'm there. <laughs> I know, I think it's the opposite. <laughs> Behind your head. <laughs> So that's really nice. If you've got dry, cracked heels, it'll help that right away. Well, especially now coming into hopefully sandal season, right? That would right. be great for yeah. Yeah. your poor feet. Yeah. And it's just nice to, you know, some people have a little bit more time now because they're at home or some people have a little less time because they're trying to take care of children at the same time. <laughs> but no matter what, you need to have a little bit of self-care to get through this crisis. Agreed. Then this is our hand spa, which is very similar. We've got the same sugar scrub that you just saw. And then we've got this knuckle balm. Knuckle balm is just such a really good general product that's good for so many things. It again is a, a oil-based balm. It's made primarily with calendula. It's perfect for those cracks and fissures you get on your cuticles and knuckles. Mm -hmm. So you wanna just massage that in. And I kind of like to do this if I'm, oh, you know, sitting at home watching Netflix or something. You yeah. might as well just massage this into your cuticles. <laughs> <and> knuckles. <laughs> what else are you going to do? <laughs> now, I have a question. What is, uh, for those people who don't know, what is calen Is it calendula? Am I saying it right? Yeah. So I showed you that big jar of calendula flowers. Yep. And olive oil. It's an orange flower that grows. It's an annual. Um, one of the common names for it is pot marigold. It's a very resinous flower. So even yeah. when we're picking it, after you pick for a little while, your fingers start sticking together because the resin is so sticky on there. Good. But we pick that, it blooms. Um, we haven't planted it yet. It needs to be a little bit warmer to plant. And we start harvesting it in August. 
and harvest it clear through frost. And then we dry that and we'll make these oil infusions like you, I showed you. Oh, good but to know. A, I just, I just learned something new. <laughs> oh, good, good. <laughs> Um, and then I wanted to show you in this gift set is the lotion. There's a four ounce lotion bottle. This mountain mist lotion is a very soft, silky lotion. It won't leave your hands feeling greasy. We use calendula in here too, as well as green tea extract and a, a Colorado blue spruce extract. So it's a really unique Colorado product too. Mm, now that smells good too. I was gonna um, say yum. I wish I could smell it. <laughs> I'm using the lavender right now, but it also comes in a citrus. Hmm. So you can use either one. And then speaking of lavender, this is our best-selling um, gift set, the Lavender Lovers gift set. So what it has is a bar of lavender soap. Our lavender soap is a a nice soap made from shea butter. It's a hard bar. Some people complain that a a lot of times handmade soaps will sort of melt right away in the shower. Oh, yeah. This one won't. It's a nice hard bar. Um, it'll really moisturize the skin. It's got the lavender lotion. It's got this lavender spritzer. And then it's got these dream pillows. So the dream pillows are filled with herbs to help relax you and help you sleep at night, which I know some people are having trouble with that. <laughs> but it's got hops in there and lavender, chamomile. Um, lemon balm, some really nice. relaxing herbs. Nice. And then the next gift set I want to show you is our athlete care kit. Everybody's trying to get their exercise in now and sometimes maybe doing a little bit different than what we normally do. Mm -hmm. You might be sore. We've got this joint jam here. I'll show you the joint jam. It too is a balm. It's got um, arnica, comfrey and menthol and a blend of essential oils that really penetrates well and helps relieve pain in the joints, the muscles, the tendons. So you can use this after workout for sore muscles. You can use it for arthritis. Um, and you know, it smells good. I have a, a <laughs> who used to work here that used to say it was her favorite smell and she would put it on for perfume. I don't like Aww. it that much, but she did. <laughs> <laughs> then there's this body powder, which is great to put in your shoes. It's also, um, I don't know if you can see this or not. Oh, here yeah. we go. It's good. So in this body powder, we put some very finely ground herbs and some essential oils that are good for relieving odor. So you can use this under the arms as a deodorant. You can use it for it's chafing. A little bit of a connector. Yeah. Um, you can use it hmm. in your shoes. And that, that's primarily why it's in the athlete kit is to use it in the shoes to decrease the smell. And the other thing that's in here is the foot butter. So this shows that the foot butter comes besides that, it comes in this tin or it comes in this smaller tube. That's kind of like a lip balm tube. So you screw it up okay. to make it push out. And then um, bath salts. So the bath salts have Epsom salt in there. Um, if we always, this is just a fun thing we keep in the store. So we always pour a, a plate of bath salts and then you can take your little rake and rake it and get real zen out there. Oh, <laughs> nice. No, I need one of those for my desk. Those are so cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a good, good meditative kind of thing to do. <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, and then I'll show you what our prize giveaway is, is this, um, yes. Face and body mist set. So these are five different spritzers that we distill. These are all, um, I didn't tell you how we make these. They're distilled on our farm. So we take our fresh herbs, like our fresh lavender, we put them in a still. And just so you know, it's against the law to distill alcohol and we do not distill alcohol. But we put these herbs in the still and the still collects all the aromatic molecules that are in that plant. So we've got lavender, we've got cucumber, we've got rose, clary sage, lemon balm, and mint. So some people call these hydrazoles. So they're really good, like I said before, for toning and hydration of the skin, but they're wonderful for mood as well. So they can really improve mood. I um, showed you the lavender before. The mint is a really good one for kind of a pick-me-up. So if you're 
you know, it's that time of day where you're starting to get a little tired. So we all can use that. Mint. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> it's a little mint on your face and oh, book you right up. Ready to go. <laughs> so Chris McGrath um, just put, he says he are interested in all these products. Please be sure to post the link to her website. So I will. Um, we do also have the link um to colorado aromatics it's scrolling across the little ticker i know it kind of goes by fast i've tried to slow it down a little bit but um yeah we will chris we will definitely get the website information out there so you guys can check out all of the fabulous products um now dr Sin, those are amazing so do you i have kind of a dumb question um when you were talking about distilling your um products on the farm do you offer like tours can people come to see the actual stuff in motion or is that kind of a, a no no off limits well, normally in the summer we do offer farm tours we'll do private groups for a fee and then yeah. once every summer towards the end of summer i do a free farm tour for customers and we've done farm tours for some for the longmont senior center as well as other senior centers but i don't know how that's looking for this summer yeah i have a well, I have a class scheduled with um, the Boulder Herb School to teach them how to do distilling. And I was planning on doing a few workshops like that on the farm this summer too. And again, we might have to push that off till next summer. Yeah, maybe just have to hit pause on that, but revisit yeah. it. Cause yeah. I think that would be neat for me. I'm anything that has to do with any sort of farm or how it goes from, yeah. you know, once it's growing to the next steps, I think is always kind of a neat thing to see. Yeah, we have a class I'd like to teach. I normally teach on er making herbal teas. And we oh. actually taught that class in March, just before everything closed down. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool too, the teas. Yeah. Very cool. Well, um, I love these ideas. I think I want one of each. And especially for um, the viewers who are watching, you know, if you guys are needing maybe um, Mother's Day gifts, you know, Mother's Day is next Sunday. It's May, what, 10th, I think is the day. Um, yeah. No, so it's, it's coming right on us. I know even though it, you know, we may not all be able to be with mom that day or our loved ones that we consider our mothers, um, you know, maybe may purchase a gift or a gift set would be a really cool way to go. So, um, Dr. Cindy, I'm going to have you help me with um, doing oh. the giveaway. So, okay. Okay. So for those of you guys who have been viewing and commenting, I see you out there. Um, and thank you for for commenting and letting us know you're here. So in the in the beginning of the the stream today, I asked Dr. Cindy Jones where her shop was located in Longmont. Now, without cheating, no cheating. Where is her storefront located in Longmont? Where is Colorado Aromatics located in Longmont? And the first person that comes in with the correct answer will get. Can you hold that up again, Dr. Cindy? Hold what up? Oh, the gift? The, the giveaway. Yep. You're going to get a go. set of uh, spritzers. So let's see. Let's see. Who Aroma therapy be? spritzers. <laughs> waters. Right? Now, while we're waiting for uh, the correct answer to come in, people are, are thinking hard out there. Um, Dr. Cindy, is there anything else that you feel um, that the audience should know? Well, besides the products I showed you, we've got a full line of face care product, body care, bath and shower, and we have handcrafted soaps that we make as well. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Okay. And so it's we so have important right now to wash your hands. Absolutely. So get some absolutely. good soap to wash your hands. I know the soap and the lotion, I think, because I wash my hands so much, my hands are like, exactly. oh, they're not happy. I need no. some of that lotion. Okay, so we have uh, Chris McGrath is working really hard and it's so close to um, <laughs> a little bit more information, a little bit more. Just a tad. Um, east of Maine is correct, and five blocks east of Maine is also correct. Um, you're, you're zeroing what, in. What could that know. street be? <laughs> what is that? It's kind of a, a Maine east and west. Yeah road that brings you through Longmont? Let's see. <laughs> Chris is cracking me up. Now they're going, what? <laughs> what? Help. All right. Okay, Dr. Sandy, should we just give? Oh, there. 
third. Third. Oh, I don't see it. Did someone say it? I don't see it on there. <laughs> she said, Chris McGrath says on third. So we're okay. going to. We'll give it. Well, I think. What do you think, Dr. Cindy? Should we? Yeah, should we even though it? the actual address is on Lashley, right? Third in Lashley was the correct answer. But uh, Chris, you were working really hard at that, so I, we're we're going <laughs> to go ahead. What do you think, Dr. Cindy? Yeah, you think good do try. It? Good okay. Try. Yay! We'll, well, congrats, Chris McGrath. You are the proud winner of today's prize giveaway. Away, it's a set of the body spritzers in all those yummy, yummy flavors. So um, I will, if you could email me at jwanasek uh, at longmontchamber.org and let me know uh, your email address or what's the best way, maybe your address, and I can run those over to you. Just let us know how to get in contact with you if you could do that. Um, so that's that's awesome. Chris, we're, we're laughing too <laughs> with you. She said, uh, laughing and thank you. So we're, we're glad that you got a hold of that, Chris. Um, and, you know, it's been such a pleasure, Dr. Cindy, to have you on today um, to let everybody know where you're located, what you're doing, the, the amazing products that you guys are working hard, uh, you know, getting out there during this crazy time. So we really appreciate everything that you were doing uh, and keep up the, the good work. Thanks. It was fun to be on. Thanks for having me on. Oh, good. And everybody swing on by uh, her website. It's www. Well, actually, it's HTTPS forward slash Colorado aromatics.com. So just put in Colorado aromatics.com and go say hi to Dr. Cindy and, and check out all the, the yummy products that she has. So with that, Cindy, I am going to say bye-bye to you okay. and thank you so Thanks. much for joining me. Okay. Bye -bye. Wash your hands. <laughs> yes. Wash your hands and sanitize. She also has sanitizer available over there as well. Um, we want to, now that you feel maybe hopefully a little less stressed, a little bit less anxiety ridden, um, just watching her do those spritzes, I kind of, I, I want to go get one now too. So, um, we're so glad that you were here today. Thank you so much for joining and commenting. We have fun doing these. We're going to continue to keep doing these, uh, each week, every day. We want you right back here on the chamber, uh, Facebook page at 4 p.m. Join us tomorrow. We have a really exciting um, Tuesday tunes and art. So really come back at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Check in what we're doing. Um, you, we have a little bit of surprise in there for you, too. So uh, with that, enjoy the rest of your day. And everybody, please, please be well. We'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye bye.